Monitor controllers can be an expensive purchase, but what if I told you that you can get one for about 60 bucks now that lets you listen to your main mix, reference mix, and Spotify with the click of a button. Not only that, you can level match all three, listen to mono, listen to the mid and side, and more. The new Sonics Listen Labs does just that. It is a system-wide plugin that installs on your computer. You can use it with your phone or tablet by downloading free software from the App Store. In today's video, I'll show you how to set up the plugin, how it works, and discuss who might benefit from this plugin and who might want to pass. Before we do get started, please make sure to like and subscribe if this video is helpful for you. Let's go. Okay, so once you install the Sonics Listen Lab, you're gonna have to switch some settings in your audio interface preferences. For Pro Tools, I go to Setup, Playback Engine, and just switch the Playback Engine to Sonics Listen Lab. And this works the same if you're using Studio One or Logic, just go to your audio, audio interface preferences and make that switch. Now, once that switch is done, you'll have to actually make some switches within your DAW. So normally my Pro Tools plays out one and two. You're gonna wanna go in and find the main left and right and switch that to that on your main out. Now, the next thing you wanna do is if you have a reference mix that you want to use, or if you have you know, a rough mix of the song you're mixing, bring that in on a stereo track, and then you're gonna click the output for that and go to reference left and right. So this will work just like any other on any DAW, just pick out the, the new outputs. Otherwise, you won't hear it. So after that, your, setup, your session is all set and ready to use the Listen Lab. You'll then go to your menu bar, you can't see it because it's off screen, and click Open Listen Lab. Now, this is actually Listen Lab. And so now when you hit Main or you hit Reference, it's gonna switch from the Main Mix to the Reference Mix, which is super cool. And then also you have a System option, which I don't have set up just because I can't play Spotify on on YouTube, um, but that way you can link Spotify or whatever is playing out of your system audio, you know, a YouTube video could be anything, and you could hear that too. So it's pretty cool. You have three different inputs that you can select from and mix really fast. Now, on top of that, which is one of the greater parts about this plugin, is you can click match loudness, and now when you're playing all three, it will match all three to the same level. So this is great, you know, when you have a rough mix that is either really loud compared to your mix and you want to level match it, you can just hit a button and they'll match. And now you know if you're actually making the mix better or if just the other one's softer or louder. So that's something I do every day in mix. I use Metric AB in my system, but it's, it's the same exact thing. Other cool features is you can listen to the sub, low, low mids, high mids, or the high, so you can kind of split up the mix and, and listen more detailed. You have left, right, swap left and right, mono and sides, which I love having. And then you'll notice you have some volume buttons here. Now this is kind of different compared to a normal volume knob. It has just different levels. And I think that's pretty cool because a lot of times, you know, if you want to hear a mix, you're, you're mixing and you just want to get more into it, you'll crank it up. But that doesn't always mean it's going to be a better mix. So having these settings locked in is just makes it a little bit easier not to trick yourself. Um, and you can be like, okay, I'm going to mix quiet for the next 10 minutes and then go loud. The other fantastic part about the software is it has an app from the App Store that you can download on your phone or your tablet and it works, you know, with Android or iPhone. And this links to the Listen Lab in your computer. So you can honestly close this, I won't close it because you, so you guys can see it, but you can close this and then you can switch from main to system. Um, you can do all that on a phone outside and that's what's great. Like I love having my controller, which I use this trim off controller and I have the same setup. I have my, my rough mix, my main mix, and then I can listen to the system audio. And that all works on here through, you know, actual physical outputs, but it's all in the box here and you can just switch through. And then you can also swap the left and right, as you can see, you can dim, you can turn the volume up and turn the volume down, and you can do all that just with the app. So even if you just have a phone, you like you don't have an extra iPad, you can put your phone right here with the app open, and as you're mixing, you can you know listen to the rough mix, listen to the main mix, and it all works really seamlessly. Like there's no delay or anything. Let me just play some music so you can hear it switch really quick. So you can see, this is lit up. This is our main mix coming out the master. And you notice you probably heard a difference. We just switched to the rough mix and now, or the reference mix, and now you just, in, you know, switch back and forth. So let's play it a bit 
and then I think it's already maybe level matched, but let's just double check. Okay, cool. So you see now that you know it's playing, it's also showing us our, our loudness, our luffs, and then our dynamic range, which is another feature that's really great to have on here. And then as we play it, we can switch and listen to the sub, or we can swap the sides and I'll let you guys hear that really quick. So all super seamlessly, and it's just an amazing piece of software if you're just mixing in the box. So that brings us to the last part. Who is this for and who is it not for? If you are just mixing in the box and you use no analog equipment or anything like that, this is an amazing plugin for you. you it saves you $1,000 to get a monitor controller or something, and you could even just buy an old iPhone and use that as your main monitor controller, you know what I mean? Um, if you're just in the box and you can set it up through the playback engine, that's fantastic. If you're using a bunch of analog gear and you have a bunch of IO, it might not work as well because you can't really set that up in the playback engine. It's, it's really just set up to be an in the box kind of monitor controller. So for me, um, I'll continue using what I have because I have analog gear and my setup's a little more complex, but I am gonna keep this on my laptop because a lot of times I'll go and sit in my living room and I'll do revisions or I'll load sessions or something like that. And I could put this and I, I always miss having my, a, being able to AB the rough mix to my main mix. So I'll have this, I can open up my phone and just do all my stuff right there. So if you're like on the road or like I said, uh, uh, in the box mixer or mastering engineer or whatever, this will be a fantastic product and it's so cheap compared to what the alternatives are. Let me know what you think about the plugin in the comments below. If you do need your sick song, if you do need your song mixer mastered, hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. And you can also get my courses and presets there too. Talk to you soon.